This will be tutorial time as we continue to evaluate the model. And this will this uh, Python, this is time to flow tutorial for data science and machine learning. And if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below to subscribe. So in the previous lesson, we plotted the output of the model. We plotted an image predicted. Uh, we plotted a predicted image against the pre prediction or uh, percentage. And we displayed the test here, uh, where we have 98% confidence that it is an anchor boot. Meanwhile, the correct level is also an anchor boot. In this case, we have 98% confidence that it is a sandal. Meanwhile, it is a sneaker, and therefore we have a color of, of, of red. All right. So we are going to take it a bit further. Per permit me to just clean up something. Uh, I'm going to just run this again and run this because this is supposed to be green and run again. All right, so let's now extend this to kind of display a grid view of, let's say, uh, 15 items in a grid view of 15 items where we display all the images, all the 15 images with the corresponding uh, number of or the confidence level by the prediction. So let's start by saying that rows is equal to five five rows, three columns, five rows and three columns. And the number of images for sure will now be 15. So uh, what am I doing? So it's equal to row, it's actually rows and, co and columns. All right, so um, we the number of images as you know uh, will now be number of images will now be rows times columns. This is a no-brainer, so it's simple. And now we are going to play around a bit with uh, Matplotlib. So I'm going to say create a figure plt.figure. Let's use a, fi a figure size that's uh, takes into consideration the rows and the columns. So I'm simply going to say two of the figure, the fig size. You don't actually have to worry so much about this if you don't, if you are not able to follow it. Two by two uh, times two times the, 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 the columns. And in the case of rows, we simply make it half that number. So I'm going to say two times uh, rows, okay? Rows, columns, okay, perfect. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to plot. I'm going to say, um, but now we are going to plot it in a grid view. So we are going to iterate through all this number of images. So I'm going to, let me just make some room here so that we be able to see everything. Uh, I'm going to iterate through these images. I'm going to say for i in range and number of images for i is in this range. I'm going to plot plt the subplot plt the subplot. So you already know that we have the the, the sub the subplot. It takes the, the 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 so we have how many by how many uh, number of rows by two times the number of columns and then we are going to get the particular index of the subplot by saying two times i plus one so that we don't have zero so i think this is a bit confusing but with the, after some time you just have to get it so we have rows okay uh we have rows which is is okay and two times calls, and we have two times i plus one. Okay, so instead of going through this matplotlib uh, uh, class, I'm going to just copy and paste the for loop so that you can also look in the description, the description box, you'll see a link to my website where you can have all the codes for yourself. So, Okay, actually I need to make some adjustments here. So this is rows, not, not rows, rows. Um, okay, let's see, okay. Okay, so we use the tight layout. Mm -hmm. 
so I'm not going to explain much so you can take time to figure it out so let's run this in case we don't have any error everything is going to be fine norm calls not defined uh, so we actually use calls and not not norm calls uh, this is calls okay uh, let me just run let's see I hope it works this time uh, hopefully it works all right so we have all the 15 of them displayed and we have uh, only one was missed out okay so how about if we change the number of rows at this time let's try to say um, let's try to say 8 is to 4 maybe I don't know 8 8 rows, 4 columns. Let's try. Okay. Uh, it will take a few seconds, but it will eventually work. So, in that case, we are displaying 8 times 4, 32 different images. And you can see, wow, this is great. <laughs> and it's failed some. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But one thing you can notice that in this one that this fails, you can see that it has certain confidence level that uh, it is also the correct one this one so if you need you uh, expand this you can see even this one uh, no 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 it, I couldn't expand okay so let's just get back to how it was okay so this one will have some kind of shade of green at this point so our model is okay but uh, not perfectly okay and this in this case we've completed analyzing our model you can go ahead to increase these numbers right here so that you'll be able to see as many as you can and in that case you'll be able to understand how good the model is doing all right so this almost wraps up wraps up everything about tensorflow quick start about the start of tensorflow now it's like a primer that we are completing in this course uh, because we are using an existing MNIST that is a fashion data site in the next lesson which actually is the last lesson we are now going to make prediction based on a single uh, value and see how good that prediction is. So for now, I'm going to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Just hit the subscribe button below, like the video, and also leave me a comment to let me know uh, how you what you think about this lessons.